In this video, we're going to show how you can run a timesheet report from Timesheet Mobile and import that to your QuickBooks desktop. So after you log into your Timesheet Mobile account, go to the Timesheet page. Here you'll see a couple of buttons, options. You can run a report for the current week or the prior week, or you can set up a custom date range. For this example, we'll run the current week. And we've got a couple of employees here just as examples. Uh, to make a simple example, in these blue bars you see the summary of hours, regular hours, or overtime hours. You can expand these to see the details of each shift. So for each day, you see the punch in, punch out time, the employee's name, the customer that was worked on, the task that was performed, and the total hours for each shift in each day. Same for the second employee. You can see the job, task, the punch times, and duration. Total hours here in green for that pay period. And if those are approved, you can export that to QuickBooks. So you click the, the orange button here to export an IIF file for your QuickBooks desktop. You'll notice here it downloaded to your download folder or you can save it to a different location. Now we'll go to our QuickBooks and we're going to import this IF file. You do that by clicking on File, Utilities, Import, IF Files. You browse over to where this file was just saved. By default, in most cases, it's going to be in your download folder. We'll select that, and now it indicates that the file has been imported. To prove that the timesheets have been imported, select the employee on your employee section. Go to Enter Time, Use Weekly Timesheet. Select the period that was just downloaded. And here you can see the customers were imported service items, notes, classes, and each shift duration is indicated here. You can go to the other employee and verify once again. And that's it.